The ABCs of fire as a weapon. Fire has been with us since the beginning of time and has always been an effective and efficient weapon. It's portable, cheap, easily concealed, and easy to use. Fire is especially effective as a terror weapon because humans have a deep, innate fear of it. While people may rush to the sound of guns out of curiosity, few would ever willingly go into a fire. Despite its prevalence, many law enforcement agencies remain unprepared for fire as a weapon. Traditionally, fire has been seen as the domain of firefighters, with police only managing perimeters. While this division of labor might work at a fire scene with no criminal component, it fails to address those situations where fire is used as a weapon by an active attacker. In this scenario, fire crews cannot attack the fire unless the criminal threat is first countered by law enforcement. Police and fire professionals must leverage their unique strengths and capabilities to work in a coordinated fashion to maximize their effectiveness. To do this, it's helpful to understand the kinds of operations that would require a joint police fire response. Mike Klumpner, President of Threat Suppression, Incorporated breaks these operations into four categories, ambush, barricade, civil unrest, and complex coordinated attack, CCA. In ambush scenarios, fire can be used to lure responders into traps or to destroy evidence and facilitate escapes, necessitating careful planning and tactics. Barricade situations involve fires set by attackers holding hostages or launching attacks from within, demanding coordinated entry, protection for firefighters, and clear communication. During civil unrest, Fire is used to destroy property, harm innocent people, and incite further violence. Quick fire suppression and police protection for firefighters are essential. In a complex, coordinated attack, fire is used as part of a symphonic attack, where multiple locations are hit simultaneously, or in close succession, to overwhelm the ability of defenders to respond rapidly and efficiently. In a CCA, resources are stretched thin and priorities difficult to establish so coordination and cooperation between police and fire leaders is essential. Successful responses to fire as a weapon require integrating firefighting knowledge with law enforcement tactics. Collaboration and planning are key to managing these complex scenarios. If your agency doesn't have a plan for how to deal with fire as a weapon, it's time to get to work.